All right, this video is gonna show you how to graph something that is in free fall. My word problem says an object is thrown into the air and it comes back down in 10, 10 seconds. We're gonna plot our displacement time graph, velocity time graph, and acceleration time graph of this motion. Yesterday we learned that our acceleration is identified as g. It's gonna be negative 9.8 meters per second squared and we are given a time interval of 10 seconds, which is not that much information. But we know from yesterday's video that half my time, half my time, five seconds, is spent going up, and five seconds is spent going down. So I know that when I am at five seconds, I am at my highest point. I know at my highest point, my velocity there is equal to zero meters per second. So we have some parameters that we can use to help us solve our rest, the rest of our variables. So sticking with half the flight time, we can use our acceleration, our time of five seconds on the way up, and our velocity at our highest point, our final velocity at the highest point, to figure out what our initial velocity is. We would use the first kinematic to solve for our initial velocity. It's our final velocity minus acceleration times time it gives me my initial velocity. My final velocity is zero. My acceleration is negative 9.8 and the time it takes to go up is five seconds, leaving me with an initial velocity of 49 meters per second. So this is gonna give us our max value for our velocity time graph. What about our height? We know our highest point is also halfway through the motion. So we can use another kinematic to solve for our highest point. So we're gonna use Y, right? Cause we're moving in the vertical direction we have our initial velocity, our velocity at the height, our acceleration, we have our time, we're looking for displacement. You can use any kinematic with displacement, excuse me, with time because we have all of the other variables. So, uh, excuse me, height, I mean height. You can use any of the kinematics with height in it because we have all of the other variables. So I'm gonna use this equation our second kinematic. All right, I'm gonna use our variables for the vertical. Uh, but these are the same equations, right? These are just specific, our displacement in the vertical and our acceleration due to gravity. Our highest point is gonna be when we're halfway through. So we know our initial velocity was 45. Nine, we just calculated it. The time it takes to go half our flight is five seconds. Oop, cutting it pretty close there, okay. So 49 times five gives me 245. And 25 is five squared times 9.8 times 0.5 gives me 122.5. So my highest point is gonna be 122.5 meters. So this is my max displacement. This is my initial velocity. So we have some parameters for how we're setting up our graphs. So I drew our graph here. This is gonna be our position for our displacement. In meters time in seconds I 
and give myself a little bit more room here. So all my graphs are going to be to 10 seconds. So we figured out our max displacement was 122.5. I'm going to go by tens. And I know at time five seconds, we figured out we were at one twenty two point five. I need to go up. All right, and I know at my beginning of my flight, I'm at zero, and I know at the end of my flight, I'm also at zero. So we've got this part of our graph so far. This can be our velocity time graph. I know that my max velocity is 49. And I know that when I throw an object up, it's going to return to me with the same magnitude velocity, just negative. So uh, time in seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know that at time five seconds, I'm at zero because I'm at the highest position. Right, I've slowed down. I'm starting at 49. And I know when I return back down, it's going to be at negative 49. So I have those parameters. And for my acceleration, Time graph, I'm accelerating at negative 9.8. So I know it's going to be a consistent negative 9.8. So there's no math needed for my acceleration graph. 